and welcome to the air effect where I have new hair every video. I got bangs! Hello and welcome back to the air effect. Today I'm trying out a little bit of a new lighting situation. I actually have a light and also a window. <laughs> um, so tell me what you think of this lighting uh, throughout the video because it's raining outside which means that my natural light source is zero. So I'm not buttoned. And also how I'm filming these, um, I, obviously you all know that I do lookbooks, but I feel like when I'm doing outfit ideas, it's slightly different. My lookbooks are very cinematic, but these outfit ideas are more like, I, I want them to be a little bit different. I don't know how to explain it. So let me know what you think of the format of outfit idea videos versus lookbooks. So today I'm going to share with you 10 fall activity outfit ideas. Over on Instagram, I asked for all of your favorite fall activities so that I could base vintage and retro outfits around them. Now, I know that I said in my last video I was going to put out a lookbook this week, but I got a little too involved with that lookbook and um, you will see in some upcoming videos, hopefully, you will see in some upcoming videos why it's not out this week. Um, the ideas that I had got more involved than I expected and are taking longer to put together so that will probably come out right before Halloween so that video will be coming I'm sorry that I promised the video and then I didn't put it out but that is mom life if you're new to this channel and you don't know me very well yet I have four kids one of them is a baby and the oldest is six so all of my filming time comes from one day in the week and that's just when I get to do videos. So sometimes I don't get things done as quickly as I would hope, but we do our best on this channel. We, we figure things out. So without further ado, let's get into 10 vintage fall activities and the outfits that could go with them. The first outfit is, of course, going to a pumpkin patch. You will see these boots a lot throughout this video. I don't actually have another pair of fall boots, so these are my standard go-to boots. And I do adore them, and I'll link them below if they still make these, but I would caution you that they're not heavy-use boots. They're kind of light wear boots because the heel tends to fall off if you walk through wet things, and the zipper pull has broken several times. I've owned many different pairs of these boots, and I love them, but... The big downside is that they kind of break. But anyway, I paired this dress from Lindy Bop with uh, brown belt and brown boots and a straw hat because I think it's kind of just the ultimate pumpkin patch dress. This dress makes me so sad that Lindy Bop is no longer a company because I always loved their fall prints. They had some of the best prints. Um, I will look and see if I can find this dress online and link it if I find it on Poshmark or eBay or wherever so that if you need one, you can get one too. But I paired it with this vintage fall cape. I think this is a really fun combo to kind of print mix. And I added my favorite fall brooch. I really think this is the most beautiful brooch. It's so very fall. And that is my pumpkin patch look. is a hiking look and I feel like some people don't really think about the fact that you can totally wear a skirt when you're hiking so I thought that this buffalo plaid skirt that is I think from the 70s I thought it worked really well for a hiking look it's very warm and then I just topped it with a sweater and a beanie and of course my trusty boots which I wear all the time and like I said before, these boots are not exactly hiking boots because they break, but they're the only boots I have, so you're going to see them a lot in this video. I added a little deer brooch just because, you know, fashion, and I also paired it with this gold belt that I thrifted. I think this is a pretty standard hiking outfit. I'm wearing tights underneath just to make sure that I don't get any chub rub because, you know, you've got to be careful of that when you're a thicker thigh girl like I am and that's the look it's very simple the only thing I wish is that this skirt had pockets I would probably bring some sort of backpack or something just in case you find something interesting along the way or some place to put your phone or your drink or whatever it is that you need to carry the only flaw of this skirt is that it doesn't have pockets
The next suggestion was a baking outfit or making cider or baking pies or all of those things. Just, you know, making fall treats. And I, again, am wearing a Lindy Bop dress that makes me sad that they're no longer a company because this is one of my favorite Lindy Bop dresses. It's so cute. It has all these little baking things on it from the mixer to the cookbooks to the teapots. It's the best baking dress, honestly. And I paired it with my slippers because if I'm baking, I'm not going to be wearing shoes in my house. So I will be wearing house slippers. I got these off Amazon and I will link them down below if you want to look into them. Um, and of course, I would have my hair up if I was baking so that I don't drop hairs into whatever I'm cooking. I also put a vintage apron over it because I have way too many and why not have a cute apron when you're baking even though this one wouldn't particularly do that much good because it's sheer but it looked cute anyway. The next suggestion was a woodland walk and so once again we're in the boots and I chose this green and orange plaid skirt and a cape because it's fall and you should always wear capes in the fall and a beret. I feel like this is a pretty good fall walk in the woods kind of outfit. You'll kind of match the trees, which is the aesthetic I was going for. Uh, if I could look like a tree, that would be cool. Um, and then underneath, I wore a green cardigan and a white tank top. I don't actually have any other colors of tank tops, so that's kind of a hole in my wardrobe that I need to fill, but I think it's pretty cute and very fall-ish. It would be really cute if you took pictures in this outfit in the fall leaves. Um, nothing too fancy, but I really like to wear berets during the winter and fall because it actually really keeps your head warm. You wouldn't think that it did, but it does. And then, of course, capes because it's fall and, like, capes are the best outerwear. Prove me wrong. The next favorite thing was bonfires, sitting by a fire, things like that. And I was a little bit stumped by this because, to be honest, if I'm sitting by a fire, I don't necessarily wear a cute outfit because I don't want my cute clothes to smell like smoke. But for this, I decided to just take inspiration from a bonfire. And so we have an orange skirt, which is from Amazon, and I will link it down below. And then a plaid blanket scarf, which is super great if you want to stay warm while you're outside. A beret to keep your head warm. And then a really pretty sweater that I thrifted, and it kind of takes from just fall colors. And again, the boots. Um, this is a really cozy outfit, especially if we are wearing tights underneath. It'll keep you really warm. I have seen the sweater online here and there, so I'll try to link it if I can find one, but it is a Coldwater Creek, I think, is the brand, and it's one of my favorite winter sweaters. It's super warm, but it's also really, really pretty. Um, and yeah, this is my sitting by a bonfire outfit. It's not exactly super outdoorsy, but I think it would work. The next favorite fall activity is apple picking and I know, I know, I have sandals on and sandals are not really fall but for us, um, we have apple trees that ripen more in the warmer months so apple picking is still kind of an end of the summer activity and I also just really liked the way that this looked. I decided to go with this green dress because it's very apple green and then I added my favorite big red hat to protect you from the sun while you're picking apples and an apron that has really big pockets and an apple brooch because you couldn't go pick apples and not wear your apple brooch. Well, I mean you could, but if you're me, you can't resist a theme, so there you go. I almost always try to wear an apron with big pockets when I'm out picking apples just because like it always, it's always good to have an extra pocket or two when you're picking fruit just in case you run out of basket space or whatever you brought to put your fruit in. activity is of course kicking out leaves again with the boots I know I'm sorry I don't have any other fall shoes but I'll get there eventually 
I had to wear this cape for very obvious reasons. It's got fall leaves on it, so of course I would wear it. This is actually a brand that I kind of look for. They always have really cute and quirky designs. And um, I paired it with a vintage plaid skirt. That was a, I think it's a school skirt, honestly. I'm surprised that it fit me, but um, I liked all the yellow and orange tones because obviously when you're jumping in fall leaves, you should match the leaves. And I paired it with my favorite fox beret. Berets are really a big fall and winter accessory for me. I would love to know if they are for you too. Let me know down below if you wear berets. I'm kind of obsessed with them. Next, we have the quintessential fall activity, pumpkin carving. I wish that I had an orange dress because I really, really wanted to wear an orange dress for this, but I don't have any. And so I think this yellow dress does it justice. I paired it with a really cute um, floral print, print vintage blouse that ties at the neck and a brooch. I know it's not a pumpkin, it's actually an apple, but I don't really care. It fits the theme. My friend Christian made it. Uh, her shop is spelled down Whimsy. I will link her down below, so don't forget to go follow her and buy from her. She makes really cute brooches. Anyway, I paired this with the top and then my black boots and my favorite striped hat because I feel like whenever you're pumpkin carving, I really want to give off a whole Jack the Pumpkin King aesthetic, so that's that. This dress also has pockets, which is really ideal for basically any situation. Next up, we have going to a corn maze. I'm actually really surprised nobody suggested this. I made this one up on my own. It's something we do every year. And for some reason, nobody suggested doing this or suggested this as a fall activity. I know it's kind of not really social distanced. It could be if you're scary enough, I guess. But um, I always like going to corn mazes and it's one of my favorite activities so I decided to just, you know, look a little bit like corn and wear my yellow floral skirt that I made from a vintage bed sheet and pair it with my biggest hat and a white sweater and this brooch that I actually don't know what this brooch is supposed to be. If you know what it is, let me know. At first I thought it was corn but it, like corn doesn't grow like that or look like that so I have no idea what this brooch is. Um, yeah, let me know down below if you know what this brooch is. Anyway, I added a really wide brown belt and my favorite brown Oxford booties. These actually wouldn't be super practical in a corn maze because they're in heels, but like I said, I don't have a lot of flat full shoes, so I guess I should get on that. was what you would wear or you know just reading books in chair with some tea and honestly I would probably be in my pajamas but for the sake of this video I decided to put on this really really comfortable Lindy Bop dress yet again I'm sorry Lindy Bop is no longer a company I will see if I can find some similar dresses down below don't forget to check my description I always put in similar things to what I'm wearing or the same thing if I can find it because that's just how I am. I had a blog for so long and that's what you're supposed to do with blogs so I do it here too. Anyway, for reading a book in a chair I would totally just be cozied up in a blanket with my slippers again and a cup of tea and a comfortable dress or probably pajamas but for the sake of this video a comfortable dress and my hair up and kind of messy and that's it. Um, this is actually the second book from one of my favorite authors so you should definitely go check her out. I will link her down below too. And while we're on the subject of reading books in your chair, you should all go check out the debut book of Eden Wilder because I am on the cover of it and I was an, a line editor. Um, it's a really cute story about a girl who is trying to save her bookshop and she meets the really cute buff yarn owner next door and he pulls her life together or does he? I don't know, you should go read it. So that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite fall activity is and what you would wear to it. 
I would love to know what you have been doing this fall and if you have been able to do any of the things that I made outfit for. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please do leave me a like and a comment. Let me know what your favorite outfit was. I hope that wherever you are, you're feeling safe and loved. And until I see you again, have a beautiful day and thank you for watching. Bye!